The third GT Awards car is now arriving in GT Sport for this 2018 December update, folks. Sports. So it looks like this time the G Reedy Fuku C is now ready to go for a custom race, you guys. So looks like let's take a good look for the car settings to give it a little bit more spec chuck on it, boards. So the G Reedy Fuku C is N300 category division. So looks like this is a very good car to be able to drive it in, boards. So the max power is 294, max torque 243, weight pounds is 2425, and the drivetrain is FR. Now, looks like this is an excellent tuner car to be able to race it in for folks, because this is definitely the most interesting car to be able to give it a little bit more trying out for it, because this is definitely one of the GT Awards cards since 2015 was definitely created by the, the actor Sean Kang from the Fast and the Furious franchise. So looks like this is a very best card for all of us to be able to start making a fine creation library design. And this is gonna get everything a little bit street race tune set for it, cause this will be able to go for it. Now, Looks like this will be able to go and get ready for a three round race on Tokyo Expressway. So this is going to be very perfect to be able to go for it. Now, looks like this is going to be a good time to be able to chose a different condition time for it. So I'll make sure I'll be able to do a daytime for it. So take a good look at this nice interior style. And this is definitely quite very a street interior detail in it because this is going to be good for having won the GT Awards car because definitely specifically built for it. Now, looks like this will be able to go and give it in to make it to go pro and then this will be able to have a 10,000 earnings for it so this will make it 11,000. Now, looks like this is a very good dirt car as a, as a GT Awards car folks so looks like this is a very good tuner car so this is going to be one standard to be race up against any other N400 car type sport so looks like the KTM Expo R is definitely now giving a little bit of first place head start for it. Now this is gonna get one awesome JDM tune car will be able to give it in for it to be able to race on the Japan course. Now looks like the engine's about to be prepared. So looks like giving a little bit more driving options to be able to get a little bit better change to be able to have this from sports hard to medium tires. So first up is the central outer loop and this is going to be going for it. Just going to get a little bit more set up and ready to go. Now looks like this is going to be the first ever to see this interior view because this is pretty good with the awesome engine sound for it. Now looks like this is going to be the good time for having three laps on Tokyo Expressway Central and East and probably I might be able to do five laps on South Variation Track because this is going to get a little bit more excited to be fun for it. Now looks like this is going to get a little bit more challenging with any other end class standard production cars to be going in for it. Looks like there's some, a whole lot of JDM cars everywhere for it. Also, the, the US cars are also in for the race boards, and especially the Euro cars as well. Now, let's just kind of go and give this 240C to be able to go for a little old fashioned Japanese race to be able to go for it. Because this is going to get a little bit more awesome to be able to race it in for it. Because definitely the P reading Google C is definitely based on the, the design production model from Nissan and it's definitely originally named as the 240C so it looks like this is definitely a perfect tune car version in the GT Awards because well kind of say that this is the one classic Japanese car because this is definitely quite giving a good style for it and also the wide body style was definitely putting in for it because that's going to be a one awesome Fine style, well done, and then this is going to be good for it. So I kind of say that two cars with wide body style is definitely giving this one good efficient with some bolts in it. So looks like that might be getting a little bit more spicy guess because this is definitely quite very awesome for the 240C, was definitely originally a Nissan model. Now looks like this is going to be getting a little 
the short closer because second lap is going to be coming in for it. Now, looks like I hope the XOR is going to have to take a little bit more chances to be able to back away on the gap. Now, it's going to stay short. Take a little maintain pace. Keep pushing hard. Okay. Anatech and Skyline are getting two overtakes. Now, let's go forward to the top three because this will be able to get an end for it because this is going to be a one awesome GT tune car for it. Coming a little dash by on the RX 500 and then the Alpine Premiere Edition is currently on second, now in third. So, it looks like this is going to be an awesome race for it because this is going to get one step forward to be the KTM Expo R. And this is not be able to have on the four stop tires to be able to be installed for it. Okay, coming in onto the dirt tunnel, be able to go on the straight. Just only got a few more gap seconds left, folks, because this race is about to be over soon. Because I hope this is going to get pretty interesting for it. Well, I just really think that we just always enjoying one of the three GT Awards cars to try it out for it. Because this is going to be so fun to be able to race with. So this will be able to race on track because this is going to be much fun to be able to have a joyride for it. Okay, looks like the final lap is going to be in. So looks like I'm going to take a little quick back to the interior view. And looks like there's the Expo R. It's kind of coming in a little bit closer. Okay, very good. Just stay at it until this will have to decrease the gap distance by only a second. Right there you go. Just gonna take, take this puppy up for a bit and just kinda give it a little bit more check on this nice style interior view. So it looks like this is a very good style for it. And also on the rear, so it also has any kinds of good stuff on the inside because this is not the previous good showcase on it from a few years ago since 2015. Alright, here we go. Looks like I'm getting a little bit drawn closer to the KTM Expo. This is going to get a little bit closer to reach first place, all or nothing. Okay, take it a little bit more slide turn, sports. Come on, just going to take one last chance and... Okay, looks like that was a pretty good first place overtake to be able to push hard for it, so this also takes a little bit of practice to be able to do a little express rate run for it. Okay, here comes the jacket flag, and then this is going to get a little bit more tune-tastic race win. So, looks like this is the very first GT Awards card as a different category type. So, originally that the Chevy Nova and the Mach 40 are the only strong tuner cars as the N700 and 800 category division boards. So, the N300 is a very smooth tune car so this is going to give it a little bit more drive fast against the KTM Expo R boards so looks like just definitely got first round one of three is finishing up and this is going to be quite very good so good thing that the Fugu C is giving a one chance to be able to race hard on the Austrian sports bike boards now looks like this is going to be get ready to go for the next round because I might be able to go on the next course so, looks like I'm definitely going to have to go with the East Outer Loop. And this time, this will be able to go on the evening time. So, this will be able to get ready for the night time on the South Variation Track. So, looks like this is going to get pretty excited for it. But, I know, we just always love Japanese tune cars to be able to race on Tokyo Expressway Track for it. So, looks like giving the one chance to be able to race on the East expressway outer loop and this will also to go for it because this will also to get a better much improvement tune-up upgrade to give a little bit more extra horsepower for it now looks like I might be able to change the sports stop tires and then let's just give a little bit more upgraded to give a little bit power ratio by 102 percent that will be make it well even matched to make it as a 300 horsepower so this is definitely commonly well matched to have a hundred limit for it 
So let's go for a race and then let's just gonna take round two to be able to drive hard and let's give it for a little drag run for us. Okay, same lap as usual, because this is gonna get everything going in and make its way for the Fugu C. Well, I kinda think that the Fugu C is definitely a good name for the Nissan 240C, so originally it's a it's a dust turn model, so Definitely the chance for the share friends with these on the course, so looks like this is going to be giving you a good run support. Now, this is just going to switch back onto the interior, and then let's just going to have this for a better ordinary race. So, this will be able to get a little bit better chance to go at it. Okay, we'll overtake on the Digimoto Kandera. Give it a little bit more better handling for it because this might be getting a little bit more practice to be able to get a little bit more epic. Okay, excellent, very good. Just, just gonna keep going to do a little bit more overtake run to give a little bit more rush at it. Take go. Just gonna stay on the outside part and then have that corner on the inside and this is gonna get a little bit slow technique. There's the uh, NSX and the Nissan RT for Skyline. Because it looks like blue and yellow color and then white is definitely kind of giving a little bit of skin. Go with a little bit more Tokyo run overtake pace for it. Okay, that was a pretty good easy start. So, fortunately, the KTM Expo R is currently in the first place to be able to get a little head start for it. Always having the usual way to have other opponents to be able to see to be able to go at it. Because this is going to be one fantastic sports car to be able to go forward for it. Okay, here we go. Line corner coming in. Just going to be coming in hot. Oh man, looks like the R34 is going to take on the Alpine A110 Premier Edition. Good job for the JDM car to be able to push hard to be able to reach to the top 3 because it's currently on the 3rd place mark. So it looks like this is going to get a little bit more fun to be able to keep it up. So let's just kind of give it for a 5 to 3 transmission to go a little bit speed up max and so it's going to be a little bit over exceed. Because second lap is going to be on its way. Now, looks like I might be able to check on the gap distance. So, looks like it's currently on the 12 second run of the headboard. Now, looks like this is a perfect time to take a good look around while on the straight. So, I kind of think that the Kiwi Bubu C definitely indicates that it has a two seater in it. So, looks like this is a very good car because we always wanted to have the two-seater car with a smooth model in it. Good R34 Skyline. That's a pretty good overtake on the Alpine to be in second place. So it looks like I'm coming in in third place. So this is going to get a little bit more stronger to be at it. Okay, just going to give it a little bit of break for minor. Try not to hit anything for it. Alright, excellent. Well, I kind of think I really like that wood style wheel because this is definitely good because wood style steering wheel is definitely classic style for it so maybe this is definitely quite good to see for it so only in the sunlight view was definitely seeing a, a wooden style on it because I just really like that kind of steering wheel because this is very good wooden and rich style to see it and this is going to be quite very good impressive for it. Now, looks like gap distance is decreasing in very shortly because I hope that X4R is going to have to take running on the corner left until the final lap begins. I hope I can miss it out for it. Okay, looks like five second gap coming in. Hit the 150 meter to be able to go straight correctly at the main queue. There we go. Just gonna keep this puppy up for a spin. 
Now, looks like this is the best spot for the Expo R because it's coming back to increase more. Be able to get away from it. Well, not a chance because this will also the gold decrease shortly for it because this is going to get a little bit more faster. It takes 25% chance to make it in, approaching in, to do a little overtake run for it. Because here we go, final lap, and then let's just go on a long straight. So I kind of think that the rear mirror view was definitely shown on the far front because it also shows for a little bit of far distance to be able to show for it. So it looks like the rear mirror was definitely going to give it a little bit heads up view for it. So looks like this is the perfect chance on the first corner because the Expo R is going to do a little bit slow time. Very good. This is going to get a little bit more chance to be able to make one step closer to reach first place for the Blue Blue Sea because this will also be given in for it. There you go. Stay on the express straight on the fourth gear and then go fifth. Now, here comes the hard part. Just going to stay put. Try not to hit on the barrier right next to the underpass bridge. So, looks like everybody likes the Fugu C because this is a very perfect car for them because this is going to have to make some fine classic libraries or any other kinds of libraries, whatever they like to come up with. So, looks like this is a very good Japanese tuner car marked with the TT Awards from the 2015 and this is going to get a little bit more faster to be able to get some flying handling tunes to be able to go at it. So looks like the tire animation is definitely shown for it because the marks on it because it's definitely moving around while racing. So that was pretty stunning animation. So no matter that this is quite very awesome to see how the tires can also to spin moving around in rapid leap for it. But I kind of think that was awesome to see the tires might be marked in for it. So only in the daytime that you guys really see it for it whenever you're using the third person view. So looks like this is going to be coming in for on the tunnel to be able to reach the jacket flag. And I hope this is going to be a one first place winner for the PV Fuku C. And finally first place at long last. Wow, looks like that was a pretty awesome race for it. And it looks like this is the perfect time to get ready for the night race on the South Variation Track, folks. Okay, so let's see you on the seventh place card. So, looks like that was very good. So, looks like this is a very awesome for the opponent with the G V Fuku C. That might be a very good, well matched tuner card to be put to race for the standard and class cars. Now, looks like this is an excellent, good first place earnings, and then. This is going to coming in a little bit maxed out folks because the daily workout is going to be complete soon and then it's night time in South Variation. Good thing that this is going to be going in on the crane corners because this is going to be the per perfect part to be able to race it for it. Now let's go to South Variation Tokyo Expressway and then this is going to be the perfect nighttime race because this will be able to go a little bit more awesome experience like any other Tokyo Extreme Racer games will be able to have different kinds of Tokyo tracks to be able on the expressway highway that will be able to go for it. Now, just gonna have to wait until it'll be able to load up and then this will be able to get ready for the final round of this race because it's out in the loop with the crane part in it and this is going to be the perfect chance to be able to have it in for it. Good thing that everybody's here on the dockyards so let's just go race and give some camera folks to be able to get some snapshots for it. So here we go, night time in Tokyo South and here we go for a final round of this race. Okay, looks like all races are taking a little bit good start of course. Now it looks like here comes to the first part of the corner. Might be able to get a little bit slight turn. Maintain the pace to be able to stay on the third gear. 
Now, it looks like this will be able to give it in for it. Okay, here we go. Looks like it's getting a little bit drawn closer. Okay, well, always that there's the yellow Fair Lady C is different than coming in for having another race on course. So that was a good JDM card. Alright, now entering on the dock. Take a little bit more performance corner technique to go at it. Okay, that's very nice. So, looks like that was a good variation track to be able to go for it. So, definitely like the outer loop for the chicane part. So, looks like racing in the inner loop, good thing that it will also to give a little bit more extended mileage distance to be able to go at it. Because, luckily, I might be able to try it out on the race time with the fuel and time consumption wear on it that might be able to go a little bit more flying out on the parking spot on the pit lane for it. So it looks like it's gonna get a little bit more speeded up. Just keep it a little bit nice and steady and well ratchet count for it that might be able to get very carefully for it. Okay, looks like the orange line it definitely indicates that this is for the pit entry show for it. So, looks like it might be able to get you know, all kinds of these signs when racing around for it. Okay, there is another T V and then this is going to get a little bit more fast time to be able to go pace at it. Okay, here it comes. Just kind of to get a little bit more air brake on it. Well, even the pen that this will be able to get a little bit more slight turns. So, I kind of think that this is going to be the only practice way to be able to perform it. So, looks like entering into the next lap and then this will be able to go straight at it. Okay, currently in 4th place, overtake on the R32 skyline. Now, looks like nighttime also shows for the red mark is definitely going to be shown for the mileage. So, I kind of think this interior also shows for the red line will be able to show at night. So, that might be getting a little bit more heads up for it. Whenever it's going to be showing the number of miles, what's different being speeded up for. Now, it looks like this is going to be coming in for it. Okay, looks like there's the R33 Skyline. And it looks like this will be able to go a little bit dry and hard to be able to Hope to take the Alpine A110 Premier Edition. So, looks like I might be able to go overtake and let's just kind of make a little straight pass at it. So, I kind of think that maybe you guys really think that that there's some more CT Awards cards to be able to come in and be supported by any update. So, I think that next year is going to have to bring something more, of course. Just only for one GT Awards card, of course, because this will be able to see what else that we, what we need for it. So, I kind of like that the high end performance G37. That was a pretty good tool card for it, so this is going to be like very efficient. And, well, also the HKS Mitsubishi Lancer, because that was definitely part of a GT Awards card. Well, Eventually, it was a concept by Grand Trismo as well. Maybe you like the Amuse S2000 GT1 Turbo, because I think that there's some any other two cars, including the HBA Motorsport, the Canadian friend with the Volkswagen Scope and the Audi TT. So I kind of think that the two Canadian two cars are definitely quite part of the Grand Trismo game, of course. So it's like we just definitely and GT6 and oh I uh, almost forgot about Grand Turismo 4 that also has a few other tune cars for it because that might be able to have something very common in classic for it so this might be getting a better chance that we should always kind of to recognize any tune car in GT5 and GT6 now looks like this is the perfect time to get ready to go final lap is on its way and looks like 
KTM Expo R is going to get a little bit nearly close because I hope that next year update is going to be quite getting a little bit more heads up for any other tune car from the Grand Transmo Award from any kind of gear sports. Now, let's just going to go and give the Expo R to be in second place to overtake. Let's give that Boo Boo C one last chance. Okay, excellent turn. Just got to stay put whenever you see an apex on it. Now, looks like it's only down for three gaps, seconds for it. Just looks like this is gonna get a little bit more hard bumping gear for it. Almost there, just got to go straight onto the expressway long tunnel to be able to go through it. So, looks like I still see a two second gap distance to be shown for it. Looks like I'm getting a little bit drunk, nearly there. Okay, looks like I buried the brake for hand a little bit. Now, let's hit the 150 meter at the main queue. Because it looks like this is going to get a little bit one step further close. Alright, looks like this is going to get one last chance. Technical S corners might be coming in for the final stretch and looks like this is going to have to take one final chance to be able to go at it. Just going to stay slide it in, less greatly for it. Up there. Now here comes the last corner because this is going to be one final stretch. Alright, so that will be today at it for it. Good thing that this is going to get a little bit closer. So, looks like check a flag. Bring that Fugu C home for the finish line for it. Well, looks like that was some one night race in Tokyo Expressway South Interloop. Well, looks like that was pretty fun for it. But good thing that the R33 Skyline is now in third place. So, looks like JDM also to be in the top three because this is going to get a little bit much better for any kinds of classic Japanese cars of the 1990s so this will give an import. So looks like that was a pretty good three lap race in Tokyo Expressway for having a daily workout finish. So looks like I might be able to go and ride the Fuku C again for it. So looks like this is a very good race on Tokyo Expressway folks. So looks like let's just going to go and receive a daily gift card for it. Now I hope this is going to be good because there's a Salvier Mercedes, a Honda NSX GT500 and two Group 4 cars and looks like a yellow SLS AMG on it with yellow color on it so looks like that might be able to give it in as a, add it in to the garage. So looks like this is a very good tuned car for the 240C. So that's third Grand Turismo Awards car into the game. So this is very good for it because I kind of say that they just love the 240C. So this is going to get a little bit better for it because I kind of think that there's some wide body parts with some bolts in it. So this is a very perfect car for them because they just really want to make their own library design. So looks like they just already did because they just definitely giving a fine life for it. So looks like this is going to be able to do a little bit more library tryout for the next one featuring the Buku C. So looks like we just definitely got ourselves to enjoy this ride. It was definitely made by Sean Kang and this is a very good Japanese tune car since the 2015 you guys because this is the best car ever of all time. Well folks, glad that you enjoyed this race. Thank you for watching. So before at the end of the segment, please leave a like, comment and subscribe on YouTube and also to click the links on the description below if you want to see more. So looks like I'll be continuing on for the next custom race on Gran Turismo Sport and I'll see you guys next time. Keep on racing, stay cool. Thank you.